Syndra has actually received a lot of uh, sort of quality of life buffs over the last little while, um, which has made her extremely strong. We've seen her uh, in, I believe, all of the major regions, except for maybe Taiwan. I'm not sure about that. But she's definitely found a resurgence. Uh, and it's, uh, I mean, we, 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 we've got star, we've got stars like like Bjergensen. I, I never know if I'm saying it's, it's Bjergsen, right? Bjergsen. 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 Yeah, Bjergsen. I never know if I'm saying his name right. This is also uh, Incarnation, aka Young Jensen. The Young Jensen, the young Jensen. There's lots of people in the uh, in the NA universe that uh, that are pretty good on the Young Syndra. Uh, I would definitely not want that. Want not want to face up against that. But we see uh, the mid lane has yet to be picked. Renekton, oh, Renekton, Renekton Brom. That's special. I was not expecting to see Renekton. <laughs> Renekton's like one of those champions that either snowballs or is useless. We've actually got a great start here to uh, this pick and ban phase. We see Team Ruby has picked out kind of like a very... Uh, they're, they're, they're taking the pick and ban phase by storm. They're going to... Uh, Team Team Ruby. Green is going to have to pick something vital in this, and they're going to pick out the Twitch here. They're leaving the AD carry in the mid lane for last on Team but unfortunately, Green might get the counter pick at the very, very end. So we'll see how this how this pick and ban phase kind of transitions for the Team Green. I mean, having the counter pick isn't necessarily the best. Like, right. it's not, it's, it's not going to guarantee you the win. Yeah, but. of course. Uh, granted, it is uh, next mid lane against uh, next Grey. Orianna's kind of like the, uh, alright guys, like, let's, let's, let's not lose this. If they lock this in, and their comp is all over the place, they've yeah. got like a high pressure power farming jungler, big graves, and some control late game scaling mage in Orianna, and then late scaling in carry mages. Interesting. Not, uh, not something I would expect. And there it is, it's locked in. That's super exciting, epic music just kind of ends. Just and instead out. of us actually getting to go into a game, we just have to sit here and wait for a three-minute delay. It's true. There's even a delay on the stream. The so people are going to be, like, waiting yeah, for Yeah, what you guys are watching right now time. actually happened four days ago. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ish. So, Plus or minus. So, crepe. Hey. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna confess something a little bit here. This is this Tell is me. this is this is uh, for some reason my mic is like either really hot or really really cold. I feel like I'm Katy Perry sitting in this chair, dude. Um, I made a bet with two players. Oh, what did you do that for? It's a uh, competitive integrity. You gotta uh, lose the I, bias, dog. I I I did it because I care. I did it because I care about the viewers. I care about the players, and I really feel like this bet will create. The solo queue standard. Zot. Young Zate. Let's see what team he's on. Young Zot is on Team Sapphire. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. If Zot plays mid lane, if Zot plays mid lane, he has to play Kled and win for a $20 RP card. Kled mid. Wait. So, that's... Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, not worth IMO. <laughs> yeah, but if he if if he's like let's say struggling in this tournament, he wants some kind of reward, right? He wants some kind of reward, right? He wants some kind of way to redeem himself, have the potential to win something. I suppose. That, so if right, later let's say, let's, say he's, let's say later in the tournament he's like fuck, like I'm losing. But if they're playing game five, game three for the finals, I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't think game. he's gonna be playing. But if they're playing that, mid. they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna bust out the Kled mid, the yeah. young pocket yeah. pick Kled. Yeah. We. I also have another bet, and we're going to be casting their game next, Team Black. No, wait. Yeah, Team Black. Wrath. Young Wrath. Danky's oh. Toxic. The dynamic the dynamic duo of solo queue tournaments in Toronto. Wrath has to play Kled Top and win for a $10 RP card. Okay. Now, I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what Kled does? I, you know what? From, from, from the, uh, the champion spotlight, I've learned... That he's kind of like League of Legends' new bowling ball, and the rest of the play, Accurate. the rest of the players are just pins in, in his bowling alley of of the rift. That's an excellent analogy. <laughs> You're 100 percent correct. On that one. I gotta be honest. The the rest of us are just pawns and pins for Kled's bowling alley to success. That's uh, wow. That's very that's an emotional. <laughs> wow. Did we just? Did we just get through this whole thing into the loading screen? I think yeah, we did. no, that's we got it, was, minutes, it was it was it was oh actually which means that we're well, gonna I, I'm gonna leave in, that up. Uh, there's you know what there's yeah I'm just gonna yeah give I'm it a gonna, give it a hot sec, hot ladies, sec. gentlemen, boys, girls. There we go, out of boy. Getting into game one, blue side now. I did. I did want to mention this. Uh, really red side is green. This is this crepe. This is another thing I got to mention. Since you've got a pen and paper, you have now been nominated. <laughs> Holy Whoa, Jesus! That was a noise. It's it's not as hot for them as it is for us. Anyways, um, here's here's the deal. No, it doesn't show on stream. For us, oh, okay. Anyways. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. We here at Solo Q Summer need to pay. Oh, baby, Peter, LOL. First kill, how does it burn the flash? Turns around with the winner's bite. And he's going to get away scot free, but not without the price spawn. of a flash. Body slam picked up first by Gragas. But anyhow, before I was so rudely interrupted by an interaction from uh, these rough and tough gangsters. Rough and tumble goons. We here at Solo Q Summer need to pay attention to the play of the game as we are going to be doing a compilation of plays of the game that have been streamed live. So whenever we find something that is worthy, literally every game Minions needs to play the game, by the way. Like, we just got to figure out what here in this particular oh, yeah, game sure. was kind of the bread and butter of our heart's desire. And look at it. There's a ton of potential for a play of the game. Like. Twitch is, if Twitch gets three items, inevitably going to get at least a quadra kill. It's true. It's true. Um, it's, it's a guaranteed know, quadra kill. But, but, you know, a five-man Malphite ult that leads to a Twitch pepper kill, that's a five-man Malphite ult. Like, much harder to actually get. Now, in this bot lane, what are kind of the keys to success for both for both of these bot lanes? Because I feel like it might be something to watch as Twitch has a little bit of a rough time in the early stages of the game. Here's the thing. Twitch has a rough time in the early stages of the game. Jinx also has a rough time in the early stages of the game. However, with the recent uh, changes that have been made to lane swaps, uh, uh, Jinx is very good at fast pushing down tower, right? And you can kind of AFK push with your rockets. So if you can get enough harass on the enemy bot lane, maybe get a cheeky jank on the early the graves. Jinx is a whole lot that early tower gold. That's 600 blood on the tower. Oh, yak in a little bit of trouble. They get the stun, the zap doesn't connect, hits the minion. That's unfortunate. Extemporous. 
gets tickled by Braum, but manages to break free from his grasp. And that's the kind of thing that 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 was just a pure miscommunication on on the behalf on behalf of the uh, green side. Dan is going to clear ward or try and ward. I don't really know what's going on there. And then Twitch is walking forward. Ooh, Gray in the mid lane, as we did say, this will be the matchup of this particular game. Oyana's having a little bit of trouble against the victor, and that's kind of understandable. Yeah, that could be expected. I mean, you don't see Oriana very much in the current meta. Oh, Demonic Karuma gets the cast, but for some odd... Oh, Ooh, that's nice why Graves is there. That's actually good for Gragas to kind of back off of that. But I feel like they might not. They would have... Malphite doesn't have enough damage for that. The Graves and Renekton would have absolutely toasted them absolutely. to a fine crisp. Now, I did want to mention the summoners in the mid lane here. It's probably one of the biggest keys to how this match is going to go. Victor's got that ignite, so he's looking to pressure Orianna out pre-6 as much as he can. But it looks like they're staying in CS 25 to 28. So Victor's going to really need to capitalize on this ignite. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, is that Victor is uh, doing a really good job of pressuring out that lane and pushing it in. Orianna's almost always farming under tower. But she's getting most of her farm. Yeah. Uh, and she's still relatively healthy. Uh, still has a biscuit left and both have a biscuit left. Um, so, so far, the ignite is not exactly paying. If you have ignite, you need to win that. Uh, so I would like to see some jump pressure, maybe if the stop AFK pushing. Give an opportunity to Gragas with a cheeky body flash. Thankfully, Gragas is hovering around the mid lane as Graves is kind of on the bot side of that map. He's looking for the rotation. He's trying to the ward down. You guys can't see it. But Gragas finds Graves. And that's a lot of damage back Victor's onto the Gragas. Here comes Victor. He's got the flash. Gragas is going to be forced to back off. And there's the missing MIA things. And Victor will have to back off as well. Great engage there on uh, no, turn around for both junglers. Was, and that's really one of the things that I love about Graves. Um, his early game uh, burst damage is actually ridiculous. You don't need very many damage items, but he has two long swords. That's an extra 20 AD. And he almost one shot. Uh, right. If he had his ult, he would have one shot. Like that. Here we go, boys. There's in the action in the top lane. Demonic Karuma is probably going to get the kill onto this mountain fight. First blood, and in the ball lane, Graves makes an appearance to capitalize on that gen, but she makes it out with a little bit of HP to boot. Ooh, they're kind of hovering around here. You guys are pressuring way too yeah, hard. They're not going to fall for that. having a miserable time in the top lane. Started with the Doran shield uh, to try and sustain up in that lane, uh, but still 20 CS down. You know what, if, if I was playing Ragged, now I buy am no means a professional jungler. But maybe camping top to give Malphite a little bit of a, like, you know, a regular laning phase. Would have proved, proved it to us. Nekton would have been stuck kind of. Nekton, is, his early phase is where he strives the biggest strides. Uh, and if Ragged capitalized on the fact, you know, or maybe, like, Malphite's always pushed in. Ganking top is not as difficult as it may be. True. They did try to make that push for Malphite. Uh, has been spending a lot of time on the top side of the jungle. Um, only showing only showing himself bot side once. Uh, where he's been, kind of just been AFK farming for most of the time at this point. Uh, honestly, I'd like oh, to Oh, baby, there we go. Misha Swamp. Has to burn the flash. Blow the flash. Good that she flashed there, because uh, a lot of players get really greedy with the flash. Straight up the stun, it's fine. Then I can use my heal, and then I can outplay with my shockwave. No, it's not worth it. Get yourself safe. You need to be in lane. Get that experience. Get that and like I was talking about earlier, the Oriana builds it for this. Hellos. Uh, early die for the Oriana. There's kind of three typical ones. There's the Morello. Uh, there's the. Uh, oh, cool, but I'm aggro. Uh, first handoff of the game. That's nice to see. As a mid laner, that makes me very happy. <laughs> Especially to Victor, because now Victor can just like AFK push. 
I, I mean, I maybe start to impact these sidelines. Yeah. Junglers are the Oprah Winfrey's of League of Legends. And you get a blue buff, and you get a red buff. It, it's you're the kind of hardest people I know. Connecting in the top lane. What the f okay. f flipping that was, uh, pancake? That was a flash of the century. Five of her friends. And that's crafting hit me up later. Uh, yeah, that was, you know, not, not the best flash I've ever seen. But it's best, it's better that you flash there than not flash and end up dying. You know, oh my so there's that. He's backing up the tower. Very smart. Renekton's got a Fury Bar uh, and does a ton of damage. There's a double CS lead on Renekton. But, there's, but Malphite is still Malphite. Malphite is level 6 has his ultimate, that's the thing that you pick Malphite for. You pick Malphite for that one thing. Eventually, he'll scale up. He is going to get tanked. There's no way to avoid that, although picking up a Sapphire Crystal for himself. Uh, big buy, unexpected. Victor, this is what I'm talking about. Victor with the AFK push, trying to impact the sidelines. Unfortunately, gets spotted by a pink ward in the tribe rush. I'm surprised uh, that there's no dragon control so far. What is this first dragon that we've got here? Drake. Cloud Drake? Is what is it, Cloud Drake? Cloud Drake gives, uh, for those who don't know, Cloud Drake gives 25. Oh, Holy moly, whack a moly, demonic Karuma turning it around like a pancake. But there's the ultimate from Malfoy. This rage is going to fall. Let's oh. go, baby. Let's go. And it's crafting in the kitchen cooking up something special they're gonna turn it around oriana and victor making their way uptown walking around but misha swamp and gray kind of cut each other off renekton's gonna collapse here there's the assist thing but there's action that's not where we want to be looking at but holy moly that's what a, a tilt right there oh my goodness renekton ult instead of taking tower or renekton ult which stops him from taking tower aggro not inside tower range Graves is already working the front of the jungle, takes tower ring, takes the tower shot, dies, this is the ulti on the 1 HP Gragas. The Gragas gets away scot free. It uh, doesn't get this, but Malphite gets himself up kill. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, baby! Looks like Gray is in a little bit of trouble. Misha Swamp makes it. Let's go! Good night. Always wins. I think that was actually a minion. I think they ignited. Oh yeah, no, yeah, 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 but like, as the ignite fell off, the minion had already launched. Yeah, that was good, that was good. Uh, yeah. one, one, one for one. Honestly, um, Grey has such a big uh, advantage in this matchup, but you know, ignite counts heal to an extent. Um, going one for one is actually amazing. Well, regardless of the fact if, uh, Let's say, let's say, for example, in that fight, Gray was able to like beat Misha with 25% HP. Graves was right there, ready to back him up. He had his ult available, so the jungle pressure there would have gotten Gray regardless. Um, Likely, yes. Yeah. I mean, we saw in the top lane earlier that Graves uh, ult did it. Back. It's a deceptively hard skill shot to hit. I'm gonna. Ooh, X Tempest with the Jukes. Left foot, right foot, let's go. Gragas actually doing a little bit of invading, getting some, getting some vision, but Graves is making his way to that mid lane gank. There's the fight. Graves is actually taking a lot of damage. He turns it around onto Graves. But there's the Gragas comes in from the side. Graves is in a little bit of trouble. Will he be able to turn it around? No, he won't. Victor picks that one up clean and clear. There's the body slam of Isha. Fighting off a little bit more than you can chew, Peter. He has to back away from that one. Interesting fight. Graves gets stuck between a rock and a hard place. And that's exactly what I was talking about before. <laughs> Malphite gets to level 6, and then his usefulness is there. That's all you need from the Malphite is to hit. Granted, there's only one person to hit, so it's kind of hard to hit. Uh, Ooh, uh, spicy, spicy. Uh, it has ulti. No flash though, so nothing from that cheeky flash. I'm so proud of that part. That was like a really good fun pop in the rock in a hard place. <laughs> you stuck between Mount. I'm sorry, I'm really proud of that. In case you missed that at all. <laughs> Replay! In case the viewers missed that at yeah, all. Yeah, no. I had to mention I had to. 
so far, uh, we do see Malfoy catching up with CS a little bit. There's, the, there's a, it's hardly a lead between Victor and Oriana. Same goes for that ball lane. Everything's kind of stagnant around. Even though Runekton has this lead on Malfoy, it doesn't feel like a real lead considering the power of Malfoy. But Graves knows the strength and wants to put Malfoy into the ground, hovering around that top side. But looks like he might just retreat as nothing comes of the Rome top lane. Gragas way to that mid lane thinking about a possible gank there's the what was that holy moly flash from misha swamp there's the ultimate flash from victor picks that one up but gragas you're never gonna live that one down when you miss a recalling oriana with your ultimate that is the day that you might be to your retire that is a retired day holy moly Spoke too soon, Red Team redeems themselves with a Grom great died kill. with Exhaust Up, Blast Up, and Ult Up. Shoot your spells, friend. Like, he probably could have ulted there, and that would have been it. He probably could have ulted. Yeah, that's a great disengage spell. Exhaust is really good against Twitch. You gave you gave the enemy Twitch an opportunity. Grom also has Death, which blocks all those shots. Uh oh. Oh, Jinx. No, baby. Nice trap, man. Quite get through to finish, finish her off there. Uh, but that's a huge misplay on Bella. Uh, uh, you need to flash away from that, or alt it, or exhaust it, or something. Those spells are there to be used. That's the thing. A lot of stuff. They're there. They are reasonable. What a great tornado from Tempris. Very well predicted. Spicy play. One of, one of, one of my uh, favorite tornadoes that I've ever done as a gen. Favorite LeBlanc coming in, gank from from this uh, from this like top side from this top side. She was coming yeah. for the roam, and I set up my tornado and I let it go while she's mid distortion. And while mid distortion, she was, she didn't. She was, oh boy, Demonic Karuma! There's the Very ultimate nice. shockwave, and it's crafting gonna get picked up here by the next double kill going over to the alligator. Solo to Summer out here. Renekton is officially fed. This Renekton is going to cause a problem. This is what I was saying was going to cause a problem for the team. If the Renekton can get fed, get the TP flanks off the STP. If you can get the TP flanks onto the back line, probably going to build a high pressure. He's well on his way. The classic glass cannon Renekton. Oh. Raw bait. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh, they used everything. Thank First you, kill. Man. Gonna get picked up here. Neo gonna get picked up here. Red team on an absolute slaughtering spree. Flashes face first into the wall. That's a that's the first Batman I've ever seen. And he has to move up. Victor. Victor is getting big. This will be a problem for Renekton if he's, well, he's got the, uh, the Merg Shreds. But that's not going to be enough to stop a Fed Victor. Oh boy, look at this. Nisha hiding in the swamp. Hoping to catch somebody out of position. Renekton's there as well. He's going to leave that top lane because he I does really have like to see someone take the dragon. Like, it'd be really nice if someone just took the dragon. Even if you don't want the Cloud Break, which is actually like Oh, there's the Shockwave. Great, a little bit of trouble. Turns it around on the Great. There's the stun, and they're able to holy moly the ultimate. Demonokuruma finds young Gragas in the cut, and Gray is there to back him up. Curry goes down. Jinx looking for something. Has to back away as the beacon block puts her in her place. Interesting engages from Team Ruby, but I'm seeing a whole lot with that. What is the. Uh, it, it, it seems like. Two sides of the fence are fed. We've got Renekton on Team Ruby, we've got Victor on Team Green. And but who Twitch. really has this upper hand here? Green by a long shot. By a long shot. Not far away from it. Oh, what a monsoon! Yak is absolutely slaughtering. First kill tries to do it again. But we're going to give that kill over to Victor as the roam down bottom comes out to a great success. Twitch is now and zero. Exactly what I was about to say. The advantage I put uh, on green because their Twitch is already very fed. Already has Yomu's and 
didn't have it through this hurricane. Like, this is a terrifying twist. And the Jinx is so far behind. The Braum, who's supposed to be the heal for the old uh, the the game, is having a very unlucky game. Has it used? Going over to green side. Has this Graves been as impactful as he can be? Not at all. Uh, I would have liked to see Graves I uh, either push uh, the lane for pushing up, so the grab, yeah. Victor in the mid lane, ideally, especially because Ignite is not a very helpful summer spell when you're in the 1v2. Or just try and uh, pressure objectives, get your Renekton and your Rift Herald. Rift Herald is actually extremely strong, and Renekton is a very good split pusher, so if you put Rift Herald on Renekton, not only is he probably going to use the 1v1 anyway. Oh! Okay, my god. Okay, well, that was some damage. Oh, but they're gonna turn it around. Renekton misses the stun, and there's the tornado. Oh my god, here's the twitch. He's coming, he's looking. There's the damage. Bedmar Trouble turns it around. Huge cast coming out from Gragas, and the damage doesn't stop. Cleanup across the board, and Misha Swamp slithers away with a little bit of HP. Oh my goodness gracious. Another fight where Brom doesn't use his exhaust. <laughs> that is possibly the strongest summoner spell on the whole game. It is a slow, it is a... That's a big, that's big. Oh, Misha, Misha, be careful. Oh, double kill going out of the Jinx. And the Twitch picks up Oriana from the side. There are the traps. Is she gonna continue? Will the turnaround occur? There's the cast, there's Twitch. Here we go, where's the slam? Let's go, Peter, let's go. Clean it up. Didn't have a, a ward for that push. It's me! Otherwise, easy quad. Easy quad. But that's actually really impactful, getting those two kills on the Jinx, especially one like the big shutdown on the Victor. Uh, but unfortunately, it's uh, I think a little bit too little, too late. Twitch is already two full items. Uh, and like you saw him open up the frame right, right there. That was enormous. Now, now. And this Jinx, Jinx has right done now. a little bit of remodeling of her, her bedroom. She's got a, a little bit of a IKEA furniture in her inventory. What do we think about running straight to Runance as opposed to building an IE or something like that? What I is, really like it. You um, like Runance, it? Runance is extremely uh, it was cost effective. Extremely cost effective to on Jinx, especially just because of the rocket spam. Uh, just a ton of AoE damage everywhere, basically. Um, I usually like to get. Uh, just Flat AD item. Oh okay. no, Misha Swamp. Looking for the blue. There's the shockwave. There's the ultimate to follow up from Malfoy. Benma juking around, but he doesn't have the moves like Jagger. There's the neck he's coming in hot like a baked potato. Has to flash over the wall. The team's collapsing on him. There's the rocket. Will it catch? No, it won't. Bra Brag his body blocks that one. But great catch there in the blue side jungle. Where's Brom? Brahm and Jinx are 2v0ing <laughs> like in the mid lane. That's a that's a perfect opportunity um, for Graves and Oriana to pick all chat like team. This game looks like it's a little bit one-sided, but let's 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 take a breath. Let's let's smell the roses, Pepe. Do we see an MVP play so far? Has there been an MVP play? play? I mean the play that really busted the game open was that team fight, that like abysmal team fight in the mid lane. Um, but no one person set that up, really. It was just what, what, a was ton that? of damage yeah. being oozed out by Gray that was then followed up by a, a spray and pray. Right oh. uh, so I guess that Gray play it gets it at this point. Cool. We'll um, see if anything kind of stands out to us. I did want to mention something a little bit earlier about your Rift Herald comment for Renekton. They had topside ward the entire time. They could have went for Rift Herald. You're absolutely right. They had control of that topside almost the entire, the entire and game. Renekton was constantly pushing Malphite in, and Malphite does not have great wave clear until he gets the... 
Now, if so, if I, if I you're a if you're a poor poor green person, green person, green person, what what do, what do we do here? What green what? Per if I'm a green person, I just sit back in my laurels and win the game. If I'm a ruby person, um, then I count on my Renekton to split play. I count on my Oriana to give you Oh no, and it's crashed down on my Shockwave. What? Oh my god, there's the Shockwave! Well, that won't turn it around though, ladies and gentlemen. Demonic Kamuma in the back line doing what he can on the squishy targets, but he's getting absolutely drained and blown up by the three members of Team Ruby. There's three members still alive. There's the squishy members. Beautiful cast. Ray cleans that up like he's cleaning it off the kitchen yes, table. He still has it oh, baby! There's the exhaust! Let's hey. go! Let's go! Misha Swamp caught between a little bit of a tough corner. He's gonna be able to back away from that one. There's the recall. And that might, that's definitely an inhibitor, not the game, but definitely an inhibitor. That's an inhibitor and likely there. Um, so, like I was saying before that happened, Ruby really needs for their team to stop getting stolen at the trades. And Renekton will go super far out of the I guess trying too hard to make a play. I guess. I mean, Graves said zero. He's getting out farm, he's getting out pressure. And he doesn't provide any late game uh, crowd control utility. You need to be able to snowball the game with objectives. Um, and. Uh, oh, they're going Graves. for the play. They're going for it. Gray and Gragas, uh, neither of them had an opportunity to go back. This is, this is spicy. Go for the Fnatic brush. This is spicy. There's the Q. Gray Misses. They catch the zap. Gray. Well, there's the bite. But they're not going to chew on that it's just me. yet. Grave was so antsy. All you need to do is let him walk up a little bit more, and that's a free kill. And then honestly, possibly at least a dragon. Probably not a Baron. You're not nearly close enough in this game. Uh, but just these like you know small moments, like stay in the bush a little bit longer and trying to bait that. Also, you know you know as a, being a support main, you know you're in trouble when you're two levels down the other support player. That's when you know you're like you know what I think I, I gotta. Mean, you also <laughs> use your exhaust once and it kills you anyway. So like, yeah, so here's the how like you like exhaust. Yeah. Do you take exhaust? Do you take exhaust? Yeah. 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 I use it like every time I can. Because it's a really that, good summoner spell. Yeah, but oh, it's oh, the other support always uses it when I use it. Like we always have it on the same cooldown. And it's always annoying because we'll 2v2 at the beginning of the game and both exhausts are gone. It's like, well, I can't, I can't cap, you know, I can't like have the exhaust advantage because we always use it at the same that's the thing, if you're playing a champion like Grom, who already has so much peel and damage mitigation with his big shield and his uh, extra, <coughs> extra uh, uh, that he can give, here, great exhaust. Graves could not be doing blue buff right now. Yeah, why is Graves doing blue buff? Graves doesn't need blue buff. Anything this is the engaged, there we go, there's the cast. Yeah. Let's stop him before Sons of Jinx. Ramping Shockwave isn't gonna do a lot, not too much. Yak is absolutely dominating, going balls deep for that Braum double kill, going over to the Twitch. And that's gonna be the game, unless Isha Swamp can turn this around. Couple of low targets, there's the uh, distortion there. That's, that's the wrong control. That's the play for that engage from Gragas was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Immediately got the Jinx, got the Orion, or got the Jinx, got the Renekton, and got the Rom all on the back line. Uh, all, all, all of the back line into the front line of the enemy team. Annihilated. Perfect initiation. This is this is the Baron call here. This is gonna seal the deal. Six to twenty-four. Eleven K gold six towers up two dragons. They have a Mountain Drake as well to uh, to Team Green, so they should have no problem in melting this with a Blade of the Rune King Yomu's uh, Hurricane Twist, uh, Void Staff, Twilight. 
Oh, Gragas. And he's confident. Yeah. This is a confident Gragas, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to know how you to play be. Gragas, this is the way. You can be. They are the only AD <laughs> They're too late. They're too late. And if Victor's so trying to get out, out, they should be trying to get Oh my goodness. Demonic Karuma actually gets Twitch. This is the fight for Team Green. Peter, I mean Team Ruby. Oh my god, they get the shutdown. There's Victor in the back line. Flash comes out. Graves is going to body block as much as he can. Malpoint's off to the side. Rob, he's healing. There's the install for shutdown. Goes over to Graves. They get the stun on the Malpoint. And clean up duty goes over to Misha Swamp. Close that jaw, young man, because <laughs> that is what we call comeback kids, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh my god. That was the plank that I was talking about. You needed to get this better next half. I mean, it's a long shot, <laughs> but if there's a way back in this game, that's it. Yeah. I was watching uh, KT Rolster versus Rocks Tigers this morning, and it was game four, and KT had a huge lead, and then I watched Rocks Tigers pull off a team fight exactly like that, and almost ace the enemy team. I'm pretty sure they, they inevitably lost that game, eventually, about eight minutes later. But, you know, if Rocks can do it, I mean, the, the comms do? must be hype right now. I know team. Imagine Ruby. how many I can just I can almost hear them from all the way over. You can probably hear us screaming too, because that was that was hype. That was uh, that yeah, was that very was absolutely hype. ridiculous. The Twitch that's ex that's exactly what they need. They need to find as much Twitch to get that one done. It's a nice as well. Um, and if Ruby somehow manages to come back and be and Take the lead in this, uh, take the win in this game. That's the play. They closed the, the gold lead a little bit from that. They got a lot of shutdown gold from a lot of the different players. But the Baron buff is still on Jan. They, so they killed the Twitch, they killed the Dragon, and they killed the Twitch. All of them like They got one inhibitor back up. A, a clean shockwave will, will be the key to this. Honestly. If they can shockwave before Malphite ult. That is going to be really good. Yeah, that's another thing about the last team fight is that you saw Malphite all the time, like right at the end when he was the last person. He needs to be the person who's going to trigger for If not as primary engage as counter engage. Well, it's not like I don't, I, I don't think they can fight this anyway. But they're going to try. They're actually going in for this. Demonic Ruma is making the call. He gets the stun on the Dragus. Malphite's club split off from the enemy team. Braum goes for the ultimate there. I'm not really sure what's going on. There's a little bit of a uh, messy situation. Minions are pushing through that bot lane. This turret has been destroyed. There's minions coming in. Oh, bottom, yeah. this is going to be snug in the bug in a rug, guys. Inhibitors being attacked by the enemy team. This, is, this might be good game, guys. We'll have to see what Ruby do. What can Ruby do, ladies and gentlemen? Zap comes out with Inhibitors being taken down. The inhibitors is tough to come back by. There's the unstoppable force. Holy moly, guacamole. Twitch is absolutely slaughtering the back line. Whoa, two members remain. Benfa in a little bit of trouble as the two bruisers and brawlers beat down. Guy with a towel and a water gun, and that's going to be GG, ladies and gentlemen. Hats off to Team Green for the fantastic play, for the fantastic, just shot calling for this team. Fantastic plays with Malphite, with Gragas. Uh, Twitch is always in the best position possible. Except for right then. Yeah. 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 Nevertheless, a little bit of play. GG WP to Team Green. Team Green! Game. What a what a game! What a game that was! What a game! Wow. So let, let let's a talk a little. Let's talk. Indeed. Let's talk very very briefly about who was kind of our our, our knight in shining armor that game. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, 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 we, we don't we have, have a camera. A, we, we don't we, have a no, camera. No, not right, yet, we'll not just, yet. We'll just, just yeah, we'll just yeah. There we'll we go. go. There. there we go. Who was who?